Hi, so it's been quite a while since I made my last video. Um, I had a lot of things to do so I literally didn't have time but now I'm back so hello to all my subscribers and anyone new who's watching me. Okay so today's video is not going to be a follow-on from the last one which was about Fresnel prisms. It's going to be a, about something completely different. So I found something that actually works for me uh, so I'm going to talk about that and I'm going to keep it very simple. So I'm just going to outline it. Um, maybe it's something that may help you. Um, so here it is. Um, so what I found works for me is actually to occlude one eye because as well as hyperopia, um, I also have problems with um, convergence insufficiency that's the eyes fusing together and I've been trying to tackle that. Um, <clears throat> for some people also this will apply to people with strabismus. Um, normally when you think about occlusion you think about patching, that's putting something dark um, over one eye. Um, well that's one way of doing it but what I've done is actually this. So Let's get these open. So you can see I've put something opaque over one eye. This is some like frosting plastic that I cut out and stuck on. So it allows the light through and also um, I can move my eye normally because often if you've got a patch on it, it's kind of sitting right against the eye. So it can move exactly the same as the other eye. Um, now this is also a weaker pair of pluses so this is uh, actually round about um, it's, it's a 425 and I use this um, when I'm cleaning so it just gives me a general all-round view I can see everything I should see um, and it's comfortable to use I've been using it for about the last month so I haven't had it on all the time, it's just when I'm cleaning, so it's I, I have it on maybe about half an hour, 35 minutes in one go, then I take it off. Um, but yeah, I'm using this quite comfortably. This allows me to do what I need to do at work. Um, and for reading... I'm reading again, which is so fantastic. Um, this is not these, but these. So this is a 5.5. Um, again, the same sort of thing. It allows light through. So hopefully my eyes are working a bit together in, in that sense. And I find this is... This is perfectly fine for um, both computer use and book use. Um, so that's that one there. And again, I've been doing it for the last month or so and I'm perfectly comfortable with it. Um, so that is that one. The other thing that I've been trying out, and I don't know how well this is working at the moment but I think there's something in it so um, what I've got underneath the two lenses that I've stuck on I have a plus 10 on the left eye and a plus 4 on the right eye and I've stuck a pair of ones on basically to up the strength and I'm just trying them out um, to see if I can have a situation where one eye gets a very clear advantage over the other because that is one strategy um, that people can use um, for convergence insufficiency. Um, so that, that is actually quite a new thing that uh, I think has come out of Australia and that is one strategy that they're looking at um, 
I'm finding that it does benefit some people. Uh, I don't know how well this is working, but it is, I am kind of thinking along those lines and I haven't really hardly worn them um, as yet, so I don't know. So in between when I'm using uh, the occlusion, I do stick the normal, uh, my normal size 12s back on again. Um, but I'm finding that is working really, really well for when I'm using them. And also after I've stopped using them, um, I just, um, particularly the ones that I'm using to clean, it's also carrying over in that I know, oh yes, I have to, I'm just holding the mop better and I know where I have to put it. Um, you know, where, where the dust bunnies are likely to accumulate. So, um, and also that it's taking the fight out of uh, my two eyes. I'm, I'm also better in my general awareness, so um, I'm concentrating much better. I hear things much better. I'm just thinking a bit better. And obviously, again, it carries over a bit. Um, when I put these back on again. So how they're working, why they're working, uh, the other strategies you can use. That I think is another video. Um, I just wanted to keep this one really quite short and simple um, in the hope that if anyone else there is struggling with the whole convergence insufficiency thing that um, it might be it might be an idea there might be something in it uh you know for for you then so yeah uh like i say it's great to be back again please like and subscribe see you in my next video